Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can export 3D meshes from Synthize into After Effects. Now, After Effects doesn't handle 3D objects and rendering by itself, but it includes the Cineware package to use Cinema 4D with After Effects. And After Effects comes with the Cinema 4D Lite package included, but if you've already purchased a Cinema 4D license, you can use that instead or even a Cinema 4D demo version for a bit. So we're going to start with an already solved scene that's got a couple of meshes added into it. And we're going to be exporting that to After Effects. We're just going to start off right away with that export. And down here at the bottom, there's a option for Cinema 4D integration. You'll notice that it's turned off by default. We're not going to do it. So we're going to turn it on and we're just going to select this write.fbx file, which means write a film box file that's going to contain all of our meshes and the camera data. And that's going to go to Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to click OK. And this is going to start up After Effects to process the JavaScript file as it normally does. You'll notice it's also created now a Cineware layer here at the very top. And that Cineware layer is pointed at a Cinema 4D file. And when Synthize did that export, it just created a dummy Cinema 4D file for the moment that's used to keep this, op this uh, Cineware layer uh, happy when, when it starts up. So we need to go and fire up Cinema 4D and you can only start up this light version from within After Effects. That's just a licensing restriction between Maxon and Adobe. So here's the dummy empty file that Synthai has created. So we're just going to select that and overwrite it for the moment. And we're going to wait for Cinema 4D Lite to start up. And give me a second while I adjust the positioning a little. Here we go. So far we've got an empty scene. And we'll go now and we're going to open up that film box file that the Synthize export created. We'll just select the default options for that export. I'm sure somebody knows exactly what they do. Here we now have our objects and our camera path and the trackers available inside of Cinema 4D. In order for After Effects to be able to see it, we need to save it away. So we'll save it. Now we're going to be just overwriting our empty dummy file. And if we flip back over to After Effects, you'll see that after a little bit, After Effects notices that that Cinema 4D file has changed. And now it is using Cinema 4D to really the saved version of that file and the Cineware magic to uh, produce renders here within the After Effects environment. We can go now and work on the compositing of the render from Cinema 4D into our After Effects scene. If we need to change the scene, we can go back to Cinema 4D and now start doing things here. Probably we're going to put, want to put some actual texturing onto these things. Maybe we're going to want to blow them up, whatever. We can do that all inside of Cinema 4D. Write that file back out, and it'll show back up here inside of After Effects, where again we can be compositing that into the original footage. And you know, we do have all the trackers here available to use as reference within either the After Effects or the Cinema 4D environment. Now we do have to be a little bit careful on what we're doing here. If 
we're going to be repeatedly tracking the scene in After Effects. Maybe we decide we want to update the tracking a little bit and repeat this process. If you've gone and improved your Cinema 4D file, you don't want to be overwriting that. So when you export out of Synthize, you can turn on an option that says don't overwrite that Cinema 4D file. And then inside of Cinema 4D, you can simply import the film box file with your existing Cinema 4D stuff and, and sort out exactly what you want to do in there. Now we also have the option in here of being able to start up the different packages at the time of export. Synthize can, can do that. Now, as I mentioned, the Cinema 4D light can't be started up by Synthize. It has to be done within After Effects. The other two options, the, the regular full license, that can be started by Synthize as can the demo version. There is actually an exception for the light version on Windows that if there is a Cinema 4D light version already started, it will notice the request to open it, open the film box file when it's exported, and it'll do that itself so that you don't have to go through after Effects to start it. But that's only on the Windows platform. That's just a quirk of whatever the Maxon and Adobe people have arranged. So you do have the, the, the option to have these things start up automatically uh, if you have especially the, the full version, which is the most useful case. One other note here about this don't overwrite Cinema 4D option. You do have to be a little careful when you're using that, that if you write out the a modified track from Synthize and you get that into After Effects, yeah, you need to make sure that you get it into Cinema 4D as well. If, if you aren't paying attention, you can potentially have slightly different tracking data in the two different packages and that's going to cause some subtle errors. So you do, just want to pay a little attention if that's what you're doing. For more information on how to use this whole combination of Synthize, Cinema 4D, Cineware, After Effects, uh, I especially recommend looking at the documentation of that Cineware package inside the uh, Adobe After Effects documentation. That'll tell you some more about the options. You do the option to select the different renderers and, and do various things. The Cinema 4D, of course, that's a whole giant animation package. And obviously, you need to consult the world of what you can do there. But hopefully here, you've seen how you can combine the Synthize, the After Effects, the Cinema 4D all together and get a, a relatively smooth path through them. Now, just to point out, you know, you can do this Previously, you could do this with earlier versions. You know, all you have to do is export to Cinema 4D, and there's a direct Cinema 4D export, or you could use the Filmbox one as we have here. And you can export to After Effects, and you can set up your Cineware layer manually. So this is just a new capability here in the Synthize export that does this all, you know, kind of automatically for you. It's nice to have it all laid out and have it run automatically. And it's nice to have a little tutorial to show you what it's all about and letting you know that you, in fact, can do that. So I hope this tutorial helps, and thanks for watching.